program created by Rio Grande. KGZO, Santa Barbara Police, calling all cars. Attention all cars, broadcast 220, regarding a holdup at the Arlington Theater. Be on the lookout for a bandit driving a Ford Coupe, license in the five column. Nine, sugar nine, five, six, seven. This man is believed headed south toward Ventura. That's all. Rolls and quits. Insurgent Army, 
And I ain't taking orders from nobody but the guy that pays me my five C's. Mm, it's what you think. Anytime the soldados of the good old USA step in, you'll step out. Fast. And get picked up by the cops when I get back to the States? No thanks, buddy. I'm staying in Nicaragua. What do you expect to do if the rebels lose? I'll make a deal with the Federalists uh, before they crack up. What if they win? Don't worry about yours truly, General Ray Crofty, pal. I'll get by with the side that does win. Get your boots on and maybe the general. Boys, come on, get it open. Ah, keep your shirt on. Oh, you birds, eh? The Marines of Lancaster. Save it, save it. Your name Crofty? General Crofty, to you? Yeah, get your junk pack. You're leaving. Who said so? I did. Get going. I told you so, Crofty. What's your name? Why, uh, uh, Jack Victor. You're on the list, too. Get started. Now, if it ain't too much trouble, just what list? List of undesirable citizens resident in Nicaragua. Undesirable? To who? The federal government, the government of the United States, and the United States Marines, and me. Now move. Who's going to make it? All right, boys. These gentlemen seem to want to stay here. Come on, let's go. Now, wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. Take it easy. Don't get excited in your first enlistment. We'll arbitrate this thing. Yeah? You don't tell me. Roast them, boys. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Hey, you can't do this to me. You can't deport me. I'm a general. But Krofsky and his gang of mercenaries found that they could be moved out of Nicaragua. Our scene shifts now to Cincinnati, five years later. Well, 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 if it ain't my old pal, the general. Where you been keeping yourself, Crofty? Uh, around. You ain't looking so well. Anything wrong? Uh, I'm hungry, among other things. You got a job? No. Been under work long? Ever since Nicaragua. Hmm. What have you been doing? Stealing automobiles, robbing banks, sticking up theaters, and... Are you looking for a job? Why should I? There's easy pickings here, if you know how. Hmm. How come you're so low, then? Uh, I just got out of stir a couple of weeks ago. Going straight? Me? Don't be a sap. Huh? I'm just sticking around long enough to get a roll and a tin can to blow in. And it's me for the West Coast and the life of ease. Where? I got a pal in L.A. He's working the racetracks. Picks up better than a grand a day, shoving phony. <laughs> That's a G-man beef if you get picked. So what? You seem to have a yen for mixing with the law. There ain't no copper smart enough to pick me. And they ain't smart enough to keep me if they do. Mm-hmm. Thought you just got out of star. I beat the rat, though. <laughs> they had to boost my bail to hold me. <laughs> You've changed a lot, Krofsky. Yeah? Yeah. How? Tough. Ah, nuts. How come? Uh, I figure I got a right to live the way I want to. Hmm. Off the other guys? Why not? Oh, no reason, I guess. Do you feel that way? I ain't never lost nothing that way yet. You will. Ah, uh, listen, you're always preaching. That's what you said when the flat feet got you in Nicaragua. I didn't lose nothing. Oh, okay, okay. Forget it. What are you doing? Nothing. You, uh, want to string along with me? No. Nope. What's the matter? You yellow? No. Nope. Well, what's the beef? Not interested in your way of making a living, that's all. Yeah. Well, I've been casing the buggy down the block a ways. Looks like it's time for me to grab it. Sure you don't want to go west with me? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, pal, I'll be seeing you. Cincinnati police calling all cars. Attention all cars. Information wanted may be stolen on Buick Sedan License 1R171. This car was taken from a parking lot in the downtown area today. That is all. Buick sedan described as stolen car in Cincinnati Bulletin. Seen heading west today from St. Louis. Driven by a man described as about 5 feet 6 or 7. Weight 140 pounds. Fair complexion. For Buick sedan, Ohio license, stolen from Cincinnati, believed headed this way, en route, Pacific Coast. Los Angeles Police.
Police calling all cars. Attention all cars. Information wanted on a stolen Buick sedan. Ohio license, one Robert, one seven one. That's all. Rosenquist. Thus came Ray Crofty to the Pacific Coast. But in Los Angeles, the hand of every law enforcement officer was against him. He abandoned the stolen car and began anew his depredations on society. Escaping arrest, but hounded day and night, Krofsky decided to seek greener pastures where he hoped to be less conspicuous. But again, he was in error, for he chose as his next sector of operation the efficiently policed city of Santa Barbara. One evening in September, as John Giordano, proprietor of one of the Santa Barbara's largest markets, was preparing to leave his store... I'll be back in about an hour, Joe. Okay, you better leave the keys to the place. Oh, I'll be back. That's what you think. Slide over. What is this? Who are you? Button your lip and get over. I'm taking this jalopy. Well, if there's a hold-up, you won't get much. I'm not interested in that. Now get out. I want this car. Yeah, but it's not my Who car. Cares? I said get out. You want it or I'll slug you? No, no, no. You can have it. Well, thanks, pal. I'll be seeing you. Oh, no, you won't. Not if I see you first. Hey, Joe! Joe, call the police! I've been held up! Take you on, Johnny. I saw a fellow back your car out of the driveway and wondered if anything was happening. Plenty's happening. That bird's stealing the car. He tried to kidnap me, but I got a chance to jump out before he started the car, and he kept going. I saw him come tearing out of the driveway. Could you describe him? Well, he was about 25, 26 years old, I guess. Uh, weighed around 140. Wasn't a very big guy. I'd say uh, five, five or six, maybe five feet seven. Light or dark? Uh, light. Have a gun? Yeah, automatic. Big or little? Uh, medium. About a thirty-eight, would you say? Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess so. What's the license number of the car? Yeah, I don't know. You, you see, it's registered to the fellow I bought it from. I haven't had time to have it transferred. Yeah, we'll try to get a line on it from the motor vehicle department. You get any money? Nope, he, he didn't try to. He seemed to want just the car. Probably going to pull a hold up somewhere else. I better get a report in on this so they can be looking for him. <laughs> Back at headquarters, teletype wires began flashing the information obtained by officers regarding the stolen car. Radio hurled the thief's description to listening officers. The long arm of the law began reaching out to the criminal. KGZO, Santa Barbara, police calling all cars. Attention all cars. Section Sacramento. Ascertain immediately registered owner, Ford Coupe. Now in name of... They could be on lookout for Ford Coupe, driven by a man about 24 or 25 years of age. Smooth shaven, light complexion. Auto vehicle section, car registered, Giordano Hensley. Wire all information. Uh, weighs about 140, 145 pounds. Was wearing a gray suit, brown hat. Headed north when last seen. This man is now dangerous. Information, motor vehicle section. License yeah, number, Ford Coupe, 9S9567. Thanks for calling. Firing license number 9, Sugar, 9567. Seven, banded arms with automatic pistols, 38 caliber, blue steel. Thus, while the voice of the police announcer gave the information on the holdup man, the additional facts regarding the bandit car had been obtained from Sacramento, and within 14 minutes after the crime, all facts were in the possession of the police department. But the work of apprehending the criminal was only beginning. Teletypes to all law enforcement agencies throughout the state placed officers on the TV. The minutes ticked on. Then, an hour later, at the Arlington Theater, two, please. Two. Uh, Four upstairs. Four up. Yes, sir. How many? All you've got. What? What? Keep your hands on the counter and your feet still and keep your mouth shut. This ain't no cigarette case I'm carrying. This is a stick-up, sister. Now act quick and give me the dough you got in there and don't hold out none of it. Y- yes, sir. Here it is. How much? I-, I don't know. Okay, sister. Now keep your trap shut. One squawk out of you and you'll get a slug. You get it? Y- yes, sir. So long, sister. I'll be seeing you. And thanks. Operator, get me the police station. There's been a holdup at the Arlington Theater. Five minutes later at the Mission Theater, a few blocks away. Listen close, sister. This is the holdup. I want that jack in there and I want it fast and don't make no funny moves in that glass cage of yours. Take it easy, big boy. I'm getting the money. Now make it fast. Come on, I'm nervous. So I see. You ought to take something for that. Yeah, that's just what I'm doing. Come on, get a move on. There you are. Sir. Thanks, Curly. I'll see you later. Meantime, detectives from Santa Barbara's police department were checking on the car stolen from Giordano when word of the two holdups came into headquarters. In a patrol car on Ocean Boulevard, officers Wilson and Westgard were cruising. 
quiet tonight. Yeah, I haven't had a call for us all night. Except that one on Johnny Giordano's car. That's for it's probably in Los Angeles now. Santa Barbara Police calling all cars. Attention all cars. Stand by. This may be in your district. Uh Uh-oh, something's breaking. Be on the lookout for a man driving Ford Coupe License 9S9567. Same call. Held up Arlington and Mission Theaters. Believed to be heading south. Thought to be headed out Ocean Boulevard. Right Man. down our alley. Quiet night tonight, all right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I see lights the car behind me. Hey, he's really burning it up. Maybe I'm in. That's him, all right. And boy, is he traveling. Let's see what we can do about it. Come on. Step on it. He's getting away. What do you think I'm doing, talking? You might as well be. Hang on. We're taking this turn. Seems like this cut on my nerves. See if you can get a shot at that first tire. At this speed? Might as well. We'll never catch him. Okay. Here goes. That can't go on like this. We've got him cornered. If he takes that right-hand road, he's sunk. That's what you think. He went to the left. So are we. Oh, I'm a dirty name. Do you suppose that bird went? <laughs> you got me. Well, we've lost him. Yeah, it looks that way. Well, we might as well report in. Meanwhile, reports on the robbery had reached Ventura Sheriff's officers, and a blockade was thrown across the road at a point on the highway just north of Ventura. Alert eyes carefully scanned every approaching car. It's going to be tough trying to stop that car in this traffic. Yeah. I don't see how we're going to be able to recognize him in time if he's traveling as fast as they said he was when he left Santa Barbara. Yeah. He ought to be here pretty soon at that rate. Well, he may have cracked up, you know. No, I doubt it. Wilson reported that he was... Oh, he was driving pretty good. Hey, look. You see that car off the middle lane? How about that, man? He's coming like a bat out. You mean he was coming like one? He'll never make that turn below the bridge. The boys will nap him. Well, he'll crack up at that speed. Oh, too bad the traffic was so heavy. We could have thrown so much lead in his face, he'd have had to stop. Come on, let's get down there and see what happened on that curve, huh? I think that bird is in the next county by now. Well, I'll say one thing for that bird. He's got nerve. Took lots of it to run that barrier through that traffic. Oh, listen. That nerve won't do him any good. He'll wind up behind the eight ball just the same. They, you know, they all do. Yeah, I guess so. Well, there's your curve. Apparently, he made it. Hey, I know I, I still don't believe it. Let's stop the car, will you? I'll take a look at the table. Okay. Well, he made this turn here. Putting these marks on the pavement. Oh, what are you talking about? He couldn't have made it. Quite the same, he did make it. Don't you know what to do? Go down and take a look at that south curve. Maybe he didn't make that one. He will listen. He made that one, didn't he? If he did that, this one shouldn't bother him. Yeah, I know, but there's only a block and a half to get settled before this one hits you. Yeah, listen, I, I don't, I don't like these, these chases. You, <laughs> you run a guy for miles, and he cracks up a car. You, you drive alongside, and he, he sticks a gat in your pan and blows your head off. Dogs on it, I can't. Or else you have to mop him off the dashboard with a blotter, and then where are you? Yeah, I like, I like the last idea better at all. Well, I. I don't see any tire marks to show a skid, do you? No, yeah, but I still don't think there's a car made that can take a turn at the, the speed that that bandit pal was traveling. Mm, maybe not, oh. but there's no sign of a crack up here. Mm-hmm. Now, oh, well, let's call it a day and get some sleep. Well, you know, that's the best idea you've had tonight. Apparently, all traces of the fugitive had vanished. Next morning, however, Officer Natalie again took up the search at the curve in the highway, while Deputy Hearn began a search of the town. Near the railway station, he encountered a roving taxi driver. Hello, Ed. What are you doing up so early? Mm, I'm looking for a bird who disappeared around here somewhere last night. Ah, uh, that hold-up man from Santa Barbara. Mm, yeah. Haven't you found that guy yet? Hey, now listen, Cecil. It's too early for you to start that stuff. When I get up at 5 o'clock, I'm in no mood to answer foolish cracks like that one. 
Well, if it's any constellation to you, I just saw a bird coming over to the station. It looks like a hold up. Well, man. Then why didn't you say so before? You didn't give me time. Him. Stick around. I'll go over and have a look. Now, wait a minute, go with you. Now listen, you stay here. There's liable to be some fireworks. That's okay. I like them. Uh, uh, see anybody around? Nah. Hey, wait a minute. There's a guy I saw right over there by that lamppost. Wait a minute. All right, that prescription fits him all right. I wonder what happened to the car he was driving. Well, he probably cracked it up trying to take that curve last night. Listen, you you, you stay here. I'm going to have a talk with that person. What do you... What are you waiting for, buddy? What does a guy usually wait for in a railroad station? Besides, what's it to you? Oh, nothing much. I'm just looking for a fellow about your size and build. Yeah, for what? Holding up a couple of theaters in Santa Barbara last night. Well, it wasn't me. Well, maybe. Uh, what you got? What you got in that paper bag you're carrying there? That's my business. Hey, better, better let me take a look at it. Okay, Copper. You asked for it. Oh, you don't hit me with that money, will you? Get your mitts up, Copper. How do you like this? You take your automatic out of my rib. Oh yeah. I'll blow a hole in you so big you can drive a truck through it. That's your story. Now I'll tell one. Oh, Ed, what's the matter? What happened? Ed, are you hurt? No. Well, what happened? Well, who's this boy? Well, he's, he's the guy that held up these theaters last night. The Santa Barbara bandit? Hell. Hell, he tried tried to blast me. Hey, Cecil, call an ambulance. Okay, Ed. Well, how come he didn't shoot you, Ed? Hell, he's gun jammed. Jammed? Yeah, he forgot you can't fire an automatic like that if you push too hard against a guy's ribs. Trotsky was taken to a hospital in Santa Barbara. His wound was serious, but not dangerous. When his recovery was assured, he was questioned by Sergeant Garrity. You know, Trotsky, I've often wondered something about fellows like you. Yeah? What? Just what's the big idea? How do you think you can get away with stuff like you pulled? Oh, I don't know. You get used to it, I guess. How'd you happen to go to the depot in Ventura? I cracked the car up when I turned down the railroad track. Railroad track? Yeah, I couldn't make that last turn, and I had to take a blind street there in Ventura. Couldn't afford to get bottled up down there, so I turned down the tracks and got away. So you thought you'd catch the train next day, was that it? Yeah, I'd have made it, too. A taxi driver kept his mouth shut. Maybe. I can't figure that gun out, though. Lucky for you, it jammed. Yeah. Next time, though, I'll know better. What do you mean by that? I won't push so hard. Then you will be fixed up. Say, that's a swell gun you got, Sergeant. Mm, not bad. Uh, let me see it, will you? <laughs> Are you nuts? Oh, no, I mean just to look at it. You can unload it. Oh, that's decent of you. Oh, come on. You can trust me, Sergeant. I'll bet I can. Just like a snake. Well, how could I do anything with an unloaded gun? I don't know, Krofsky. Unless you tried to use one of these slugs. Where'd you get that? From under your pillow while you were asleep. You see, we missed a shell from your guard's belt when he checked out last night. I had an idea we'd find it around here somewhere. How'd you get it? Smart guy, Jim. I'll get by. Well, figure out how I got the slug. We know how you got it. But for your information, one of the nurses saw you slip it out of the officer's belt when he was helping her raise your bed. I'll get that dame. You won't get anybody, Kofsky. You're going to San Quentin till they're ready to deport you. Deport me? Yes. Seems you came to this country from Nicaragua. You're going back there. <laughs> The officer was right. Krofsky was tried, found guilty, and sentenced to San Quentin. He served a portion of his sentence, was paroled, and deported to Nicaragua. Years passed. One day, a few months ago, a steamer put into San Pedro, harbor of the city of Los Angeles. Captain, I understand you have a stowaway on board. Uh, yes, I wirelessed about him as soon as we discovered him. Where did he come aboard? Oh, I don't know exactly. Somewhere in Central America. Probably at Kalan. Well, I'm ready to take him off your hands. Well, he's right in the next cabin. Wait a minute. Is this the man? Yes, why? Your name's Crofty, isn't it? Yeah, so what? If I remember correctly, you were paroled and sent to Nicaragua. Isn't that right? 
still, so what? It happens to be a violation of your parole for you to attempt to re-enter the United States. You know that, don't you? What about it? I'll have to take you ashore. You're going back to San Quentin. In the office of the immigration authorities at San Pedro. Sit down, Kofke. I'll have to get your papers. Take your time. You didn't really think that you could get back without being caught, did you? Well, it's worth trying. Yeah. According to your record, you've got plenty of time to do yet. Now, don't worry about me. I won't do time again. Just what do you figure you'll do about it? Just this, copper. Uh, uh, grab that man! Don't let him get away there! Man, stop him! He jumped through that window! Grab him! Grab that man! Let go of me, copper! What do you think you're doing? Nice work, Jackson. Here, let me get the bracelets on this monkey. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Take it easy, Crofty. You've got lots of time. As a matter of fact, you've got 20 years. In just a moment, we will hear again from Chief Garrity. Whether you're going on a vital errand or just for the ride, if you want the advantage of quicker starting, smoother acceleration, lower cost per mile, greater reserve power and maximum speed, get Rio Grande Cracked Gasoline. What do you get when you drive into a red and white Rio Grande station and ask for a tank full of Rio Grande Cracked is the same superior motor fuel which powers the must-get-their equipment of your city, county, state, and federal government. Drop in tomorrow and begin getting police car performance with Rio Grande Cracked, the gasoline that is first in public service, first in every emergency, and always in the tanks of the motor wide. tried to be, was no match for the law. He was returned to San Quentin, where he is now serving the remainder of the sentence passed on him in Santa Barbara. Before he is through, he will have learned that crime of any sort does not pay. Thank you, Chief Garrity. Santa Barbara Police calling all cars, attention all cars, cancellation broadcast 220 regarding a stolen car. Suspect in this case is now in custody. That's all. Rolls and quits. Frederick Lindsley, bidding you good night for Rio Grande.